Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm sure you too have seen those epic B-roll videos on YouTube yet. So I'm not a professional filmmaker, but I'm trying to step up my game while making films. And so I want to take you on that journey. And today I want to have a first look at a little technique that can make your videos look a little bit cooler, perhaps. So the thing we will be doing today is throwing things into the air in front of a black curtain and make a time lapse of it. It looks very cool, it looks very professional, and it's really not hard to do. So the first and probably most important thing is lighting in this case. So what I did, as I don't possess a very, very bright overhead light, um, I used two newer RGB panels, placed them quite high um, above my subject uh, on the left and the right side. Second thing I did is place two little lights which were behind my subject to give a kind of backlighting effect. I think you will reach the same effect with only one light, but I had two of those little LED box lights, so I used those. You will need a black surface behind your subject. I think you can use paper quite well. In my case, I just used a black thick fabric, which will not allow any light to pass. The third thing I have done is to set my camera to manual focus mode. So I held the object in the certain distance. I was planning uh, the objects to fly in the air later and then focused directly on that point. So as you will see in the video, my focus is not perfectly sharp. I'm working on that. And if I have played a little bit more with different focus modes, perhaps also autofocus, I will get, let you guys know. But perhaps you can leave me a little note in the comments how you usually do that and what your experiences with autofocus in this area are. When you then throw the stuff in the air, I would recommend that you use a blanket or something like a piece of plastic foil uh, to place your subjects onto, which can just pull apart so the things will go to fly in the air. Um, you can add a little bit of a special effect by dripping some water uh, onto your subject. The water drops will fly in the air as well, and this will create a very cool effect in the later video. In post-production, you're aiming for a true black background color. So the separation between your object and the background will be really crispy and nice. So what you do is go down to the color options in your um, video editing software. And I'll show you here in the graph how to dial down the um, black and curve. So you get a really crispy black background and a good separation from your subject. Guys, thank you so much that you have watched the video, that you have tuned in. I hope I could help a little bit. I know I'm not a professional photographer and there are a lot of people on YouTube who are farther down the path. Um, but perhaps I could show you a little hint or two how to do that shot with quite limited equipment and uh, how to get a first result into that area. Um, if you like the video, I will look into more topics like this in the future. Uh, just give me a little subscribe. It just takes you a second and helps me uh, further a lot along the way. Um, thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.